Hello, collective. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel, Luminous Ascensions Tarot. If you are returning, thank you for the love and the support. Welcome back. So I'm going to be jumping into a collective read. Get some tea. What's the tea? We're about to find out, collective. I'm going to find out what's going on. See what's going on in everybody's energy. Please remember to flip and switch the role as I do this reading. I could be talking about you, your person, or someone in your energy, so please keep that in mind. Gender is not important in tarot. The message is. I could say he, it could be she. I could say she, it could be he. That is not important, just the message. Take the message as it applies. Also, only take what resonates with your situation. Please do not force a situation. Do not make assumptions. If it is not your story, leave it for who it is. So... Let's jump into here, get this reading going. Please take one minute to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video if it does resonate. I would truly appreciate the love and the support. Thank you to everybody who has already been supporting me on my channel. I really do appreciate it so much. So here we go. This is going to be for collective. So remember, it does not matter what sign you are. This is going to be an overall general read for everybody collectively. What's going on? So let's see. Let's tap into this energy and let's get it going. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Spirit. Okay. So we have Divine Masculine, the yin to their yang. Okay. So, it's already starting off good. This could be you or your person. We got a Divine Masculine here, though. That's amazing. So, that's a great way to start. What else, here? What else for the collective? What else do we have for the collective? So, we have Poetic Justice. Retribution. So, somebody's going to get some retribution. I'm also getting the Divine Masculine. It could be a poet or could want to write you a poem. Someone could be ready to write you a song. I don't know if you work with music. Maybe you work with music. Yeah. Someone could be gaslighting, psychological manipulation. So someone could be gaslighting your divine masculine or your divine masculine. Hmm. Someone could be trying to gaslight you to keep you away from your divine masculine salty and then we have salty so bitter angry and agitated someone could be salty and gaslighting a situation to make sure your divine masculine doesn't come your way or some type of retribution is coming it could definitely be for this divine masculine Yeah, someone's trying to manipulate the energy or manipulate a situation. And they're very bitter and angry about something. They could be mad that they know that your person is coming your way. And they're going to try to interrupt this. They're going to try to gaslight a situation. Hmm. Or I'm also getting your Divine Masculine could be in a bit of karmic energy right now. Maybe your Divine Masculine is salty right now maybe something could have happened that made your divine masculine feel some type of way but you both are going to get retribution on the situation so something is something is going on at the bottom of yeah at the bottom of the deck we have ptsd so post-traumatic stress disorder someone could be going through some mental health battle someone could be having anxiety depression someone could try to cause this upon your divine masculine for them to stay stuck in some type of trauma or some type of like maybe this person had ptsd before maybe because of stuff that they've been through in their past it kept them in some type of sadness or feeling guilty about something i don't know this person could have been dealing with a drama queen 
or someone that was after them for money, dirty money. Somebody could be trying to identity theft. What the hell? Yeah, but you're woke. You could have awakened your person to get into their uh, divine masculine energy. Male or female does not matter. Gender is not important. Please remember that. But there's some type of magnetic connection that you have with your person. It's like, but there, someone's trying to get in the way. Like someone's trying to manipulate the energy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on here. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, spirit. Talk to me. What's going on with this energy? I already burnt my sage, so. Matter of fact, um, yeah, I'm going to do my protection spray because lately this energy, who know? I like to do this now before my reads, my protection spray, because I know people be chuh playing with the energy and I'm not about to be dealing with everybody's nonsense all right let's go spirit let's dig into this read talk to me about this divine masculine let's start off with the divine masculine you could be dealing with an Aries doesn't have to be I'm getting emperor when I see that so that's why I said that you could have that in your chart or your person does okay let's see so, who is this divine masculine? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. You got the Queen of Pentacles here. So, your person could have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or I'm also getting that this could be you. You could be this Queen of Pentacles. You're very secure, very loyal, caring, a good mother or father. But if you are this Queen of Pentacles, you could be in your masculine energy right now. Maybe you're figuring out a balance between your feminine and masculine energy. So you could be very much in your masculine energy right now. You can be an entrepreneur. You could be a business owner. You're, you're perfecting something about your work. Or your divine masculine is watching you. Wow, you have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. This person could have been married or could be married. Let me see, who is this Queen of Pentacles? The Divine Masculine. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. Someone is... This could be PTSD, now that I look at it like this one. Because you see, um, this card is known to be the Wounded Warrior. But you see how he's battled a lot of situations. Could have had a lot of childhood trauma. Or they could have been dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. And they felt like it was becoming a situation that was becoming a burden. Or someone could have just been with someone for financial gain. This divine masculine could feel stressed and worried and have anxiety right now because he's trying to get to his queen of pentacles. Let's see. Yeah, somebody's moving. So you got the six of swords. Someone could be moving away from their divine masculine. You could be in separation from your partner right now. Or someone could be moving away from um, a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, let's see. Who is this Queen of Pentacles spirit? Who is this Queen of Pentacles spirit? Yeah, okay. So you got the Temperance and the Six of Wands. So you could be this Earth Angel. There's something about divine timing and the div divine plan that's being orchestrated. But someone could be gaining recognition and reward for listening to spirit and going with the divine plan I'm hearing. Okay. 
yeah, moving away from something to go to victory and success. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or your person could have Sagittarius in their chart. Someone could be moving away from a Sagittarius. Okay. Why is the temperance here, spirit? Why is the temperance here? Okay. So you have the two of swords and it came in the struggle position. It's like you feel something coming. You don't necessarily see it, but you feel it. You feel something in the energy is shifting. And it's guiding you on your divine path. It's guiding you to towards your victory and success. So you're going to be very successful at whatever you're doing. Or you're being guided to your divine masculine. Or this could be your divine masculine coming your way to collaborate with you. You guys could probably wind up working together on something. Let me see. Okay. What is poetic justice for the collective? What is this poetic justice? The two of pentacles. Yeah, someone could be trying to balance the situation out or someone is balancing their own life. They could be traveling. You could live at a distance from this person. I'm hearing something about a cruise also. Somebody could be going on a cruise. I don't know. But someone could have been juggling you too. And your retribution is they're going to see you move on to your person. Someone was gaslighting you and manipulating you in the past. And now they're salty, they're angry, because your retribution, your poetic justice is going to be, you're moving on and you're going straight towards victory and success. And you're, you're this earth angel. They could have misjudged you also, I'm hearing. Somebody could have, could have handled you wrong. But someone's coming in to balance something out with you, or someone is balancing their own life out. They're, they're fixing their own life. Hmm. What is this two of pentacles with poetic justice? What is this two of pentacles with poetic justice here? Okay, so you have the page of cups in the reverse. So someone is refusing to make an apology. So someone doesn't want to apologize for something, for juggling you or keeping you imbalanced. Um, could be a Leo, doesn't have to be. But the sun came in the struggle position. So someone wasn't seeing something very clearly or someone, I'm hearing ignoring the signs. Someone was ignoring the signs to come apologize to you. And now spirit has you balancing your life out and moving forward. You could be traveling for work also. On the way by Khaled and Ty Dolla Sign is on. So somebody's on their way. Somebody could be coming towards you as you're walking away from somebody else. Or as you're ready to move away, somebody wants to come towards you. Somebody's on their way. Like they're not trying to let you go. But it's like they're refusing to make an apology though at the same time. Page of Cups in the reverse. The sun. Okay. Clarify the Page of Cups in the reverse. The Empress, yep. Okay. So someone is... Okay, so you got the Divine Mask and then this is the Divine Feminine. The Empress is... <laughs> yeah, Taurus Libra energy. Someone could be getting enlightened about who their empress is. Someone's finally seeing who their person is. Or they could have mishandled you and now they have to make an apology, but they don't know how to come in and apologize. And the only way they're going to get this retribution is by coming in and apologizing. Who is this Empress? Yeah, someone from your past is burdened. You could be seeing 1010. 
So some, some type of cycle is complete and you're manifesting. The magician could be dealing with a Virgo or Gemini, but there's somebody from your past that's stuck on you. You got the Six of Cups here. You could have had a child or children with this person, but someone keeps thinking about you and they're burdened because they see that you're going towards your happiness. You could be starting a family with someone or collaborating families, but you, you're going straight towards your happiness. You have the Ten of Cups. So, okay. Who is this Empress spirit? Okay. So, Five of Cups. This Empress could be sad right now. Or someone is sad because they're, they're seeing very clearly that their Empress... Is going towards success and victory. So, clarify this five of cups with the empress, the high priestess in the reverse. You could be dealing with the Pisces in the reverse. Yet yeah, someone wasn't listening to, to their intuition or their intuition was being blocked. They weren't seeing something clearly and they were not apologizing. They were refusing to apologize. I'm also getting... From here, someone could have been a, a fake priest or priestess. Um, clarify this high priestess in the reverse. Or someone didn't believe. Okay, I'm also getting someone didn't see you for who you were. Someone didn't see you as this empress. They thought you were a false leader. They thought you were a false prophet. And now they're seeing very clearly who the hell you are. You are this empress. You are divinely guided. You are spiritually protected. And they misjudged you. Somebody was not listening to their intuition. It could be a Pisces. You guys could have different beliefs, different ethnicities, different backgrounds, different views on things but somebody was definitely spiritually blocked someone could be in spiritual jail also yeah someone feels like they're not getting downloads or they're they're not listening to their intuition someone's just not listening to their intuition about some type of apology to this empress okay why is the High Priestess in the reverse? Down as bitches on by Ja Rule. You could have been really down for this person. You could have did everything in your power to show this person that you were really there for them, that you loved them, that you really supported them. And for some reason, something went left. And then you had to just start pouring love into yourself. Okay, why is the high priestess in the reverse? Yeah, this person could have been breadcrumbing you. Six of pentacles. Someone, it's like, someone could have been collaborating with other people or more focused on other people. You could be dealing with a Libra. I see the, the scales right here, so it makes me think of Libra. But now someone wants to come in and give an equal give and take to their empress. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. what is gaslighting for the collective what do we have for gaslighting for the collective someone could have definitely been breadcrumbing their empress yeah eight of cups in the reverse someone's refusing to walk away from a situation so you got the eight of cups in the reverse here or this could have been you refusing to walk away because someone kept gaslighting you someone kept manipulating you Maybe you weren't listening to your intuition. Maybe you weren't paying attention to what you were supposed to do. And now, spirit has you stepping into your empress energy. Spirit has you moving forward. This could also be somebody was dealing with a baby mama or some type of pregnancy. And they weren't listening to their intuition about this situation. Someone could have been giving to two people. Or someone, who, someone could have got pregnant. And they don't know who the father is. Oh, God. Oh, God, this shit. Anyways, so gaslighting with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. What is this, Spirit? Okay, so we have the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could have this in your chart. 
you're the star. Like someone didn't see you as a star. And now that you're healing from them, now that you're releasing them, they could have had multiple other options. And now that you release them, now they see you as this star. Now they want to be back in your energy and they don't want to walk away from you. They don't want to let you go. But you're healing. Spirit has you healing. Spirit is putting you on your pathway. Okay. I'm also hearing world renowned. So you could do something and get a lot of recognition worldwide for it. You could be working on um, social media platforms. Or you could be traveling around the world. As you're healing, you're, you're, you're working on something that's leading you straight towards victory and success. So I definitely recommend keep doing it. So what is the star here? Yeah, some type of betrayal. So an Aquarius could have betrayed you. Or you could have betrayed an Aries. I mean, why did I say an Aries? I meant an Aquarius. So an Aries could be involved in the situation. Doesn't have to be, but it was a slip up. So there was some type of betrayal here, Ten of Swords, that led you to, to this healing. But you're struggling with like half of you is healing and half of you is, is you're not walking away from a situation even after a betrayal. You're having a hard time walking away from a situation. But you are doing the healing work. You are doing some shadow work. You're taking the time to work on yourself, but at the same time, it's like something that you're not releasing or someone's not releasing you. Some, it could be an Aquarius. Okay, what was this betrayal about? Clarify the Ten of Swords with gaslighting. I mean, that itself is, a, yeah, it could have been a third party. You got the Three of Swords here. Somebody broke your heart. Somebody broke your heart in this situation. What is this Three of Swords, Spirit? What is this Three of Swords? Okay. So you have Ace of Cups. 22-22, as I said that on the timer. So someone that broke your heart, you're healing from this person. This person could have betrayed you multiple times. Or they could have been gaslighting you and dealing with a third party. And you're moving towards new love. Or this is you. You see how this... I put, um, how this is going right under the, the star, but you see how the star is pouring love, emotions into this, and then it's coming here. Spirit could be making you pour love into yourself because you needed to heal. You needed to release this person. They could have kept putting you in third-party situations, or they could have kept gaslighting you or playing with you, and now it's time for you to pour love into yourself. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Somebody could have had a choice between two. The lovers. You could be running into a soulmate. And I'm also seeing this snake on the tree. It could have been um, people around you that were being snakes towards you, that were manipul manipulating you, that were playing in your energy. And spirit is removing you from any of these people. So, okay. Clarify this Ace of Cups. You're going straight towards new love. Or you're going into a renewal of love after some type of betrayal happened. Yeah, you could definitely be seeing 10-10. Some type of cycle had to end. You could be getting a, a fresh new love. Or you're, you're renewing something after some type of burdens and betrayal occurred. But you have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody's burdened. Because you're not even allowing this person to gaslight you anymore or play these manipulation tactics. Make Me Proud is on by Drake and Nicki Minaj. Spirit wants you to know they're proud of you. They're proud of you because you could have dealt with this situation from 3 to 10 years. Or months. But I'm hearing years. But um... Yeah, but now you're pouring into yourself. You're pouring into yourself. You're healing. You are a star. You know your worth. You know your value. And spirit is very proud of you. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, hermit. You could be isolating from someone right now. The hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You're doing some introspection. 
you could be in hermit mode you could be isolating from people yeah because they were manipulating lying deceiving cheating stealing whatever this was they could have been doing this to kids or they could have had your kids involved in this situation someone could be going to jail you got the eight of swords here with the page of wands or some type of news is coming in about the situation this person could be in spiritual jail for doing you like this, especially if you're a divine counterpart, if you are a divine masculine or a divine feminine and somebody was playing your energy like this, they're going to go to spiritual jail or they'll go to real jail for whatever the hell they done did. But yeah, spirit is not playing about you. You are this star. You're you're meant to do big things. So we got the king of pentacles. It could have been a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You could have been married to this person. Somebody could have been trying to block your spiritual gifts. I'm also getting somebody could have tried to block your finances. It's like they 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 could have been using you financially or they wanted to, to take all your finances. And you weren't seeing this clearly. Your intuition was blocked. Or this is uh, your person that was going through this. Yeah, it could be an Aries. You know, this could be your twin. Four of Wands. You could also be getting the keys to a new home. You could be moving and traveling. Okay, what is salty? What is salty? Someone could have been blackmailing someone. Wow. What is salty? Three of cups. Yeah. Someone's salty because you're being celebrated. You could be, I'm hearing soul tribe. You could be meeting your soul tribe. Someone's mad that you released them. These could have been friends, families, old exes, whatever the fuck. But someone's mad because you're going towards victory, celebration, success, recognition. You could be going out more. And someone is not happy about it. Okay, and, and, sorry. Nine of Wands. Yeah, someone could have had a third party. Someone could have had multiple third parties. They could have been very out there with their sexual energy you got the knight of wands with the three of cups like someone could have had multiple third party situations that they were going through and you cut this person off and now they're salty and they're mad about it they could be thinking about you very sexually Ugh. yeah they're mad because you're manifesting your true happiness ten of cups with the magician you could be dealing with a virgo or gemini you could have this in your chart you're taking a leap of faith the fool you're going towards brand new beginnings you're taking a leap of faith you're believing in yourself you're manifesting your true happiness. And someone feels some type of way because you moved away from them. The chariot could be a cancer. Yeah, wheel of fortune. Thank you, spirit. You have good luck on your side. As soon as you release all this devil energy and all these snakes that were around you, you have your guardian angel watching over you. And you're learning about these fake false people around you because they're all reading books. You're learning and you're acknowledging. The more you research, the more you're seeing things clearly. Some people are not meant to go with you in the next phase of your life. You're evolving, you're elevating, you're ascending, and these people are not meant to go. And look, Five of Wands, they want to fight with you because you're moving on to new cycles, bigger and better things. Five of Wands, friends, family, whatever. They're trying to, they're trying to fight with you. Ugh. Creeping by Metro Boomin, The Weeknd, Diddy, and 21 Savage is on. Yeah, you could have caught someone creeping. You could have found out about a third party. You could have realized that you were somebody's third party and you left this person in the past. You moved on. You're going towards your happiness. You're going towards your divine masculine or your divine masculine could have had this happen to him. And he's releasing whoever the hell this burden was, whoever the hell was playing him, cheating or not letting this person walk away. But they want to entertain third parties. The yeah, other is that three, three. You could be seeing three, three, three. You're being supported. You're being divinely guided away from this. Ten, ten cycles over. It's done. Wrap it up. This person keeps trying to come back, though. For some reason, somebody keeps trying to come back. 6-6. Six, six, you could be seeing 6-6-6. Six, six, six. It's time to reflect. Reflect on everything that this person has put you through in the past. They could be wanting to apologize. Take it with a grain of salt. Accept the apology. Appreciate the apology, but continue to move. Because this person, they will keep coming in your energy and trying to fight your growth. They don't want you to grow. They don't want you to move on to the next phase of your life. And you are moving. So, whatever. What else for Salty? With the Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of... Yeah. I can't make this shit up. Seven of Swords. This person, every time they came in your energy, they were lying, 
manipulating, deceiving, cheating, stealing, lying, whatever the fuck. And then when you caught on to this shit and you called them out and you went towards your happiness, somebody could want to reconcile with you, but you know it's just sex. You know that someone's coming in your energy just because they want to get on it. They never had it like you before and they're trying to fight you to not move away from them. But you're you're leaving. You're not. Mm -mm. You could be going towards your divine masculine. Yeah, the emperor with the four of wands. This could be your twin. You're going an Aries. Or someone could have been stuck in a foundation. Someone could have been stuck in some type of home foundation. Could have been an Aries. Could be a Pisces. This person could be on the um, Pisces, Aries cusp. Aries, Pisces cusp. Whatever you want to say. Okay, clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords for me, Spirit. Clarify the Seven of Swords for me. Yeah, King of Swords. You set boundaries with this person. Or this person could need to set boundaries with whoever the hell's around them. Could be a third party. Person could be going through a divorce. This person could be dealing with a mother figure, Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles. They could have been in some type of contract with this person. Could have been a karmic contract. Could have been a marriage. Someone could be going through a divorce. Someone's going through a separation. Maybe they had a contract with, with assets, a home, kids. But someone can be taking someone to court. Custody, whatever. Who is this King of Swords? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be involved. Yeah, Two of Cups. Someone's going towards their divine love. Equal give and take partnership. Someone is not playing. They want it all with you. Clarify this two of cups. And someone is salty and mad about it. You're about to get your happiness. Your true happiness. You deserve it. Spirit knows you deserve it. So we got the king of cups. There's two kings here. Um, When I see that, it could mean same sex relationship. It does not have to mean that. But it could mean that. But I'm also getting um, someone setting boundaries with other people because they know where they want to go. They know where they're emotionally invested in. They know what they want from a situation. They want this two of cups. They want this equal give and take partnership. They know where they're going and who they want to be with. Give me one more. Yeah, this person could want to collab with you. Three of pentacles with the four of swords. Someone needs to get some rest. Someone could be overworking themselves. They want to come in with a partnership offer for you. Or someone could be restless over some type of partnership that they're in already. Person could be married and they're stressed out about it because they know where they want to go. They know that this is where they want to be. They want to be at this two of cups. But someone could be overworking themselves. So someone needs to get some rest and, and take time to, to have some self-care and self-love for themselves. It's very important. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Someone is going towards a brand new opportunity. Could be a work opportunity. Ace of Pentacles. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Someone sees you financially secure, financially abundant. You could be this higher thing, could have Taurus in your chart. King of Wands. Someone's taking action towards their Queen of Wands. You got the King to the Queen of Wands. Both you and your person could have fire in your chart. Or this could have been a, a karmic couple that were together, but this person's leaving someone out in the cold and they're becoming single because they want, they know what they want. They want a long-term commitment. They're throwing the traditions out. They're throwing the rule book out. They're not listening to what anybody has to say. They could have tried counseling. They could have tried marriage counseling. It's not working. They're going towards brand new opportunities. This person could definitely be working on their finances, but this is a divine blessing coming your way. It could lead towards marriage. So, okay. Let me love you is on by Mario. So someone wants, someone wants to love on you, collective. My male or female. Someone wants to love on y'all. That's beautiful. Okay. Let's see what we have. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, excuse me. All right, let me get a couple from here real quick. Everyday shuffle. Your person could be chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. You don't like chocolate. 
doesn't have to be. Or your person could want to give you some chocolates. Someone could be very sad right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Lovers and Friends is on by Lil John and the Eastside Boys, Usher and Ludacris. Okay, so breakup. Oh, man. So you and your person, as I said in the beginning, you and your person could be separated right now. You could have had a breakup. You guys could be in separation, but they are still thinking of you. I thought about you today. So you're still on someone's mind very heavy. I still have strong feelings for you. Mm -hmm, collective, someone misses you. Someone could be stressed about a breakup. Changes have been made. You could be seeing butterflies. You could be going through a, a spiritual awakening or a spiritual transformation. What else? What else, spirit? So you got travel plans. So you could be traveling or you could need to take a vacation and take some time for yourself. Fulfillment will be yours. Oh, yes. I love it. New love. You could be finding new love, especially after all this crap, that gaslighting and everything. Or, or it could be a renewal in love. Yeah, broken hearted. Oh, my gosh. Someone is broken hearted over a situation. So you got that toxic lover is raising your blood pressure. So there could have been something going on that was toxic and you had to release it or I don't know. You could be having heart problems or someone could be going through some type of heartache. So you see me and I see you. Both of you could be watching each other right now. So we got goals and accomplishment. Someone's focused on their goals. Someone's focusing on accomplishing things. So that's good. That's a good way to channel you know negative energy and push it into positivity focus on work focus on school your children your family anything that's going to help you develop these goals and continue to move forward so medium extrasensory perception so you could be a psychic or your person could be psychic falling in love mm -hmm. so if someone's broken hearted because you're falling in love with someone else or someone from your past could yeah, someone's very sad. Okay, perspective change. Someone could need to change their perspective on how they handle things or how they view things. Yeah, someone's really sad that you're moving towards new love. I've been really sad. Someone's in their feels. Unplug for a bit. So someone loves your independence. You got, I wish for you to be my lover. Ooh, someone you could have a secret admirer get some right exactly what i said get some rest someone really needs to get some rest thank you spirit i see your worth now so someone now sees your work and as i said you could be seeing butterflies could be your spirit animal it doesn't have to be but spirit wants you to know that they're always guiding you and they're with you oh lord king dangling oh my goodness oh my god Ooh, love it I saw birth control fail, and then I saw devil. <laughs> Lord? Okay. Give me a few more spears. Just a few more, please. Bonfire hangouts. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, car issues. So someone could be having some car issues. Someone could be running into this situation. It could be you or your person. So something could have happened in the winter time or something will be happening this winter coming up. Good things are coming. Maybe you release this person in the winter and they see that good things are coming your way and now they're like watching you just move on towards new love. So someone's enjoying the drama show. Oh gosh. Trust the direction that life leads you on. Spirit is gui guiding you. You're being divinely guided. And this could be divine timing too because I see this. Or no, you're being you're literally being guided somewhere. You could be guided to move or travel. Mm, love how you maintain yourself. Yeah, there's something about how you carry yourself, no matter what you're going through, whether you're happy, sad, struggling, pissed, mad, you don't let it affect you to the point where you just you you just pick yourself back up and you keep it pushing. Somebody loves that about you. Somebody loves 
your get up and go. Like no matter what you're going through, you still get up and go. So that's good. So bonfire hangouts, you or your person could like s'mores. I want to talk on the phone with you. Someone misses your voice or they just miss talking to you. Sorry, I'm busy watering my plants. <laughs> You're like, mm, I'm busy focusing on me. I'm pouring love into me. You could buy plants. You could like to have plants around your home. So visualize and create. Yeah, you're watering your craft too. You're, there's something about what you're working on that's going to lead you towards a lot of success. Deep cleaning. Yeah, you could need to declutter or throw some stuff away. Maybe that'll help you feel better. So you got back to old ways. Oops. And then you have your confidence is so sexy. Let me get a few from here. And then I'm going to pull from here. I have initials. I have signs and everything. So we'll see what you could be dealing with or like some initials or whatever. So we'll see. Get something from there. All right. So give me a few from here real quick so I can wrap this up. So yeah, you guys, your divine masculine is coming or this is you balancing your divine masculine and divine feminine energy. But spirit wants you to take some time to rest and definitely have some self-care, some self-love for yourself. Deep clean people, places, and things that do not serve a purpose in your life. Make these changes. Keep it pushing. Twin flame. Ah, oh, You definitely could be dealing with your twin. Oh, Lord. So I remember who you are. I loved you before. So your twin is important to this. Ooh, Lord. Okay, so control. I want to feel in control than to lose myself in love. So someone could have some control issues they need to work on. You have gossip. I've been talking about you to my friends. So someone could be talking about you, trying to get advice probably. Someone feels empty without you. So you got true love. I waited my whole life to find someone like you. This is your true love. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so beautiful. Empty stage. I feel empty without you. You're the spotlight of my heart. Mm. Your twin is thinking of you. Your twin misses you. Rejection. Someone's scared of rejection, but this is your perfect match. So you got rejection. Your rejection has been a catalyst for change. So you could have rejected this person or they feel rejected right now by you. You could have a choice between a soulmate and a twin flame, or this is just your person in general. Your soulmate it could definitely be your twin. But it says, you are my soulmate and you're my dream come true. So you mean so much to this person. Perfect match. We are a perfect match. Reason why our fire burns so hot. Y'all both know this is... <sighs> Y'all both know y'all want each other. Y'all could just be in separation right now. Maybe there's some control issues. Maybe you guys have some differences in something, but we have differences. You are different from what I'm used to dating. Fatal event. I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I can say. So someone could want to apologize to you. Some type of fatal event could have happened that caused you two to go into separation. Moving secretly. I'm moving in sounds and things will change soon. 21 questions by 50 Cent and Nate Dogg is on. So this person could have some questions they want to ask you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Longing. I'm longing for the other half I have lost. Yeah, this person feels like they lost you or they just don't like being in separation from you. It's hurting them to be in separation from you. Mm -hmm. We have regrets. I regret the things I should have done but never did. So someone could be in regret for something. Anything else before I look through these? Okay. 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 So at the bottom of the deck, lust. If only you knew how much I crave you. So your person is definitely craving you or you're craving your person. You guys want each other. Okay. Balance. Finding balance between giving and receiving. Someone needs to, you know, balance that out. Target. I'm strategizing to win. I won't miss my target this time. Youthful. Let's keep our inner child ageless and maintain youthful forever. And then we have damaged. Before you date me, understand I'm a damaged and broken soul. 
this person could feel broken and damaged without you because they feel rejected by you right now. And then you have love story and that landed on top of twin flame and soulmate. So yeah, a true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. You guys could have went through a completion of a cycle together and this was just to push you to the next phase, the next cycle. So you guys could be getting back together or there could be some type of reconciliation or some type of apology coming, but I guess we'll have to see. Someone's probably balancing their life out right now. And notice these, this divine masculine looks just like this one. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay. So let's see what we have here. What signs you could be dealing with or initials. Let's see. Okay. So we have. All right. So we have Sagittarius. We have a uh, Cancer. We have Aquarius. We have an Aries. Um, got another Cancer. So you could both have Cancer in your chart. Um, and then we have Capricorn here too. All right. And then what do we have here? Okay, so we have Sagittarius again in the little one. Pisces. We have Pisces. Um, the initials I have are P, <laughs> P, D, Y, H, W, L, X, Y, Q, F, H, and C. So your person could have these initials in their first, middle, or last name. So yeah. So this was you guys' read. I hope you enjoyed it, Collective. Please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, and comment if it does resonate. And I hope you all have an amazing morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you may be when you watch this. And I will be talking to you all again very soon. Bye.